It's been a while since the update 53 finally dropped to everyone in the world, to all the platforms and all that stuff. So today I decided to make like a general breakdown on how good or bad was the update overall, because let's remember that this update 53 was one of the most awaited updates I can even remember on Asphalt 8. Your support guys in these recent videos has been insane, just insane. Uh, but also uh, was the first update we got from the team since the war on Ukraine started. So yeah, was a quite a awaited update overall. So today I will have a look on all the features that we got and how good or bad was the update overall. So let's start with it. This video honorable mention goes to the ads because although I already said that this uh, feature will get revamped with the new update 53, Gamelot actually did even a better job than I thought at first because now you can get five storage slots every day just by playing five ads and also you can get 90,000 fusion coins and 90,000 credits just by checking uh, five more ads each which in my opinion is extremely useful for beginners and now ads are uh, way more useful so that's a great point that game love actually improved not gonna lie, at first I thought that the seasons would be some kind of super long festival with boring tasks and that stuff, but actually no, all it depends on how much do you play Asphalt 8 and the more you play, the better rewards you will get. And even more, if you get the 10 bucks premium pass and you play a lot, will be extremely worth it because it gives a ton of useful stuff, uh, allows you to upgrade quite important cards on different classes. So overall, I think that the premium rewards are just insane because they are really really good especially the two ultimate upgrades but also i think that the free rewards should be slightly better in the next season i really hope that gameloft hears the community and give you know like more fusion coins or more upgrades in the upcoming seasons but for now i think that the world season concept is quite cool and the more you play the more rewards you will get as i said so it's a quite rewarding system overall also, I think that the ultimate upgrade uh, feature as a feature is quite interesting too because allows you to get the best cards of the entire game and test them in events and fully upgrade it, as I said. So I think the ultimate upgrades were also an extremely cool addition on this update. I already made a video about this, so in case you want to check this matter in more detail, you can actually check my previous video. But anyways, uh, on this update we saw a lot of different cars falling from their original ranks and becoming, in my honest opinion, uh, quite uh, useful options in the new ranks they got. Like for example the McLaren M40A, the Camaro or even the Arinera Usera, which now is at least fairly decent in comparison to what it used to be. But also we got a new Class S competitor which was the Mercedes-Benz Silver Lightning which became a fairly good car with a really good uh, speed recovery as I said on my video testing it. But overall I think that all these nerfs were quite useful at the end because made these cars a way more comp competitive. Maybe in lower ranks that they deserve but overall the cars are good now. So I think that overall there wasn't like a big loss on this update as everyone got a compensation with this issue. But for me it's absolutely necessary to mention my favorite feature on this update which is nothing else but that if you wait a few seconds without touching your screen you will get like a screen saver from the wall from the game where you can check your avatar and the wall card which is also useful for thumbnails for creators like me but I think that it's also a quite cool feature in my honest opinion. Don't get me wrong guys because I also play on Android let's remember that I have an account there and I experience on my own flesh what it uh, was to play with 30 fps but don't worry guys because i let the team know about this issue from the very first day and i'm sure that they are doing their best in order to fix this kind of issue so please guys from android be, be patient because uh, as soon as they can we will get a hot fix for this kind of fps drops and the graphics issue overall i have to give the update a strong 8.5 out of 10 i really hope that the team will uh, fix the graphics as soon as they can but I also think that they had to make this world update 
away from their homes with the war and that, and that stuff. So yes, I was a bit annoyed at the at the beginning because the update was delayed and that stuff. But now that I think about it, I think that this update was a really good update that we got recently. And I appreciate all the effort that the team put into this update, which in my honest opinion made the game a way better and a way more interesting to play on these days. So I really hope you all enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts about this update in the comments and I will see you really soon as always with more Asphalt 8. Goodbye guys.